In this video I will shed some light on what the bearing designation numbers mean. On a bearing you can find other numbers, not only the designation numbers, and I will also uh, help you out a little bit on uh, that one. But the uh, designation numbers are governed by industry standards, so they don't change and uh, they apply universally across the board for all manufacturers. Where do you find those designation numbers? First off, you can find them on the bearing itself. This one is a 6010 or 6010. I'm gonna write it down here. It's a 6010 bearing. Uh, sometimes you can find those designation numbers on a on a seal itself, like in the case of this one. And this reads uh, 6002 or uh, this little bearing, I know it's uh, 6200 and uh, here is this number, sorry here is this bearing, it's got a uh, number 6001, 6001 and there's other numbers, that other letters and numbers that follow the uh, bearing designation numbers but those four digits are typically what you need to uh, find or come up with for uh, finding replacement bearings and these are your designation numbers and uh, most bearings have four digits except the super small ones which have three digits but uh, I'll show you how these work they read from one to third digit fourth five, six, and seven. There's seven digits in the uh, in the manufacturing standards and uh, we'll start with these two. The first and second digits here. These ones. Okay. And uh, these ones. None of these numbers relate to actual physical dimensions of the bearing but they kind of do in some way. Um, I'll show you how. For uh, these last two digits, they refer to the bore or inside diameter of a bearing. And uh, for bearings under 20 millimeters of internal diameter, uh, when I take a measurement, oops, switch this one on. See, this one is a 10 millimeter inside diameter bearing, and uh, the code code 01 means that it's a 10 millimeter bearing. The next group of bearings is a 12 millimeter bearing. Uh, there's, there's no 11 millimeter bearing and uh, they have a code 02. 03 means 15 millimeter bearings. You get the idea. That's how it goes. It goes up in this fashion all the way to 20 millimeters and from 20 millimeters on whatever these two last digits you have to multiply them okay now that's another X you have to multiply them by 5 to get the inside diameter of the bearing so when you see a 10 here on this one just waiting for the camera to focus there when you see a 10 on this bearing, so 10 times 5, 50. And uh, this indeed has a bore of 50 millimeters. There, if I find the middle of the circle, thereabouts. Okay, it's a 50 millimeter bearing. So that's what this 10 means out of the 60 10. <coughs> Sorry. These digits here. Uh, on uh, the third digit and, and we're not reading it from left to right we're reading it from right to left okay so the third digit has to do with the outside diameter and these are also codes and so refer to the outside diameter and they're coded so small bearings have a code zero there and then, uh, sorry guys, the smallest is 8, and then the next one is 9, 
and the next one is zero and then the next one is two and the next one is three they are coded and these codes refer to actual measurements but they are all different different measurements for different uh, bore bearings let me show you what I have in mind here um, here you see bearing designations let me just make it simple here bearing designations you can see let's start on this page say from 10 millimeters up you can see that they all end with 0000, zero, 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 zero. the 12 millimeter bearings they all end up with 0101010101 the 15 millimeter bearings here end up with 02 the next one with 03 you get the idea and inside each group the third digit uh, from particularly from 10 millimeter on but even the 3, 4 or there is super small bearings as well even though they only have three digits but you can see that the that uh, we start with a 4 millimeter ID and then a smaller outside diameter, bigger outside diameter, even bigger outside diameter. So the outside diameter numbers are 8, 9, 0, 2, 3. 8, 9, there's no 0, 2, 3. 8, 9, 2, they don't uh, always make all of them. 8, 9, 0, 2 again. 8, 9, 0, 2. 8, 9, 0, and 2. Those are the third digits uh, uh, denoting a code for the outside diameter and those outside diameters could mean well in in case of this bore it means 9 10 11 or 16 millimeters whereas further down it doesn't mean 9 10 11 or 15 millimeters it means 16 19 and 24 millimeters so, uh, however, you still find the same 8, 9, 0, and 2 uh, outside diameter uh, designation. So they don't translate directly into actual physical size, but they are somewhat related. Uh, next number is the number 6 on these bearings. They stand for deep groove ball bearings okay where the roller element or rolling element inside the bearings is a hardened steel ball just waiting for the camera to focus a little bit there and uh, or here in this collapsed bearing you can see there is a steel ball rolling inside there are other kinds of bearings like inside this uh, what's this angle grinder if I take out the spindle you can see thereabouts a needle bearing where the rolling element is looking like uh, uh, a, a pin from the kitchen that uh, your mama would uh, uh, stretch out the dough with so they have uh, different roller elements and it's a needle bearing but uh, all of these numbers on the fourth uh, place here uh, denote the type of roller element inside the bearing so most often you will find uh, number six bearings or, uh, or uh, deep groove roller deep, deep groove ball bearings and uh, even the even these small ones that have three digits they all start with six consistently there. Six, 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 because all of these are deep groove ball bearings. Now the fifth, sixth, and seventh digits on the uh, on the code, or uh, sorry, on the designation, they are here. But in these cases, these are zeros, and they don't want to print uh, redundant zeros. They only want to print the uh, significant digits like that one that one those zeros or these zeros are significant those ones if they are not there uh, they don't apply and uh, those numbers uh, denote the fifth and sixth 
these denote structural modifications to a bear bearing. It could be a thrust bearing, so like a bearing that uh, takes a uh, load from the side, or uh, or have uh, different uh, contact elements on the inside. Uh, I don't have those ones to show you. And the uh, seventh digit defines, sorry guys, defines uh, heaviness on the bearing so uh, they could be and there's numbers for it as well like uh, one two three four like extra light light medium heavy so that's what uh, these bearing designation numbers mean what uh, you really need when you work with these ball bearing numbers is three measurements to uh, to uh, find an identical replacement on a bearing you need inside diameter outside diameter and oh it doesn't fit there but I'm just gonna write thickness and uh, you can see how those numbers work with these tables in uh, my other title uh, on uh, ball bearings and uh, we'll see how you can find a replacement for those ones uh, the rest of the numbers that follow this uh, seven digit pattern here uh, but again, sometimes you only have three, most often four, sometimes five. There's uh, some more letters and uh, optional numbers. Let me just wait for the camera to focus there. That the manufacturers have. And they mean a variety of things that relate to the design. And they are optional. Not only optional, they also change from manufacturer to manufacturer. So. Uh, for uh, one particular manufacturer, W can uh, relate. This prefix W can relate to, uh, in this particular case, uh, a stainless material. Uh, for another manufacturer, W can mean uh, something relating to uh, cage construction. Okay, so they don't. These all of these letters and optional numbers don't apply universally. Your best bet is uh, grab a catalog like I did and uh, and see how the manufacturer explains these numbers and uh, they are in inside somewhere at the front of the uh, of the uh, manufacturers catalogs you can find those catalogs at your bearing distributors or online so some of these numbers and letters relate to uh, the type of lubrication the bearing has and the kind of grease the bearing is packed with in the first place you can see operating temperatures for the grease uh, clearances, uh, how much play a bearing has when it's manufactured. Obviously this one has too much play, it's also failed, but uh, let me see another one. There, maybe the microphone can pick this one up. There, this one has some play as well. And uh, this play is specified here by different combination of letters and numbers again here some letters relate to the cage design they can be uh, low carbon steel stainless steel or some kind of plastic uh, that doesn't uh, corrode at all and uh, and of course there is the seals seals themselves around the bearings like uh, like this one which is some kind of metal and uh, metal seal that's got some kind of rubber on the outside and it just pops into place like that and keeps the dirt and most of the water out there fits nice and flush so uh, that's why you have all of these numbers and letters around bearings but uh, some of these are optional and uh, these ones are industry standard and uh, apply universally so for an identical fit, you only need to worry about these numbers. And if you don't find them anywhere, you can just uh, go to a dealer, a bearing distributor, with your three measurements, inside diameter, outside diameter, and thickness. And also maybe take in the uh, ball bearing that failed, or if it's a ball bearing or needle bearing. So uh, yeah, you need to know what type of roller, em roller element is in the bearing as well. So that's basically the lay of the land and that's how these bearing designation numbers work and that's what they mean. They are probably a fascinating read if you're much into manufacturing bearings but for 
anybody else, it's, uh, it's most like a suicidal read. But that's basically how these numbers go and what these designation numbers mean.